Thank you very much, uh, Mambo, everyone. Um, I think um, Coach has elaborated a lot on what the expectations from the technical bench and the players to the fans and everyone at Yanga are. Uh, we've been working very hard, you know, I for one unfortunately joined the team a bit late. I only had a few days of training, but I must say, um, the work that they've been going on at camp, it's very, very tremendous. Everyone is putting their shoulder on the wheel. We are working very, very hard and looking forward to unleashing um, the beast, which is Wananchi Day tomorrow, starting on and going into the league going forward. Starting with the uh, Yuma, then... Uh... Um, you know, as coming to the press conference, it's not my first time doing the press conferences. Uh, it could have been any player, and I, for one, am humbled to be here as the representative of the players. Um, I think it's mainly because we are playing a team from South Africa. That's why I'm sitting here with the coach. But um, tomorrow, if I do happen to score, I don't think there'll be any message because, you know what, um, we are still in early days of preparation. Um, like the coach said, we, he wants to give everyone a run, you know. The most important thing is to get ourselves in shape, get ready for the championship that is coming, the CAF, the league, and all the cups, respectively, in the league. Thank you. Uh, with a club called Georgia and at Gagra. So, coming to East Africa, it was a decision that uh, it was not hard for me to make because I, the, I was on the verge of signing with a club back in South Africa, but when the president called, like I said, who doesn't pick up the president's call, you know? So, it was an easy decision for me to make uh, considering the ambitions of this club. The success of the club speaks for itself. And I, for one, being an ambitious person, an ambitious player, I would like to join an ambitious team, you know, competing for the championships and everything. And um, coming to the jersey number six, which was highly rated and highly, you know, advertised and talked about, it's an honor for me to don the jersey number six. Uh, I know the pressure that it comes with wearing the jersey number six and um, the expectations that are thereof. Um, as a player, coach spoke about something about pressure, you know. For one to be at their utmost best, you need to succumb the pressure. Pressure gives you the ultimate goal to be yourself. And um, I think I do well under pressure. I am here to help the team, not for myself. I'm here. I have 10 other players playing with me on the day. And, you know, um, I'm just here to put my, my shoulder again to the wheel and help this team achieve the greater heights. Um, we didn't really talk about it. We didn't really talk about it uh, that much. We didn't dwell much about it. Uh, I know Coach, he coached in South Africa before, and um, I was still a beginning. I was still very small when he was in South Africa, but, um, you know, with uh, a lot of history that Kaiser Chiefs hold in African football. It's a very big club in South Africa. So we didn't really dwell much about the game. Only my friends back at home that are now playing for Kaiser Chiefs, like Ranga Chivaviro, um, we were chatting and he was actually telling me that it would be the first time I play against you. So it's going to be a very interesting game and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for that question. Um, you know, when the president called me to say, have I worn the jersey number six in my life before, uh, I said no, because I always wore jersey number 11, just the 32 at Marumo Gallants, you know. So they told me the, that they would like to give me the jersey. And um, I said, it's an honor because I've seen on social media how the JSO was hyped. And, you know, I couldn't say no because 
I know the pressure that comes with the jersey, and I for one like pressure, you know. Everyone grows better under pressure. So the jersey was presented to me, and with both hands, I, I received it. And I'm honored to, to don the jersey number six. Thank you to the CC. Uh, welcome to Tanzania. I'm staying here now. We are a visitor. <laughs> so um, it's, 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 it's amazing, you know, when I'll take it back to when we came to play against Yanga in the CAF Confederation semi final. It's a very, very, very vibrant city. People here love football. They love football. Um, I was impressed by the, the love that they showed me and um, the support base of this club. This is a big club and uh, it deserves, you know, much respect and yeah, the football in Tanzania compared to South Africa, it's, it's more like, you know, moving away from home, you know, for the teams that I've played for. I've played for Kaiser Chiefs, uh, rather Mamelodi Sundowns, I've played for Orlando Pirates, you know, these are big teams in South Africa. But the support base of young Africans, it's, it's, it's out of this world, you know. It's out of this world. And going tomorrow to play against Kaiser Chiefs, you know, earlier last season, when we played against Kaiser Chiefs, I scored. So, maybe tomorrow I will score again. <laughs> so, we'll see, yeah. But um, it's going to be a very interesting encounter and in meeting some of my fellow countrymen. I didn't say I'm going to score, I said I hope to score. But yeah, um, when we play football, we obviously play to score. That's the first thing. You know, games are won by scoring goals and, and, and creating goals. So, um, well, you know, playing, playing against KZ Chiefs is always a tricky, it's a big team. It's always a tricky game, you know. Um, you cannot impose your game approach within a team. You see, I can only advise that, okay, I know this player, he likes to do this to my teammates, but we gotta respect um, the game plan from the coaches, from the technical team, how they want us to play, and, 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 and you know, you implement what you can do. Obviously, the coaches, they have the, the philosophy, the culture of the club, and the game approach determines how we approach the game, not what an individual can do. One last question. Again, 